holes where the where the beams will go both sides uh, so the beam will come all the way across here up, and then it'll come down then there's a, a post that comes up here and lay on that uh, so the next thing you need to do is drill a hole um, the original plan showed one screw uh, there's actually two screws in the in the bracket uh, so get that done now I uh, just need a half inch masonry bit this, uh, the Festool drill supports or has a has a drill mode and has a hammer mode to take it these so it goes in put this drill a half inch hole put this down at the hole and then as you tighten it down this collar comes up pinches and create you know on the inside of it and gives you that holding the anchor within the, the concrete so just need to drill this out and try it out Switch to the hammer drill. And so now they got it all, hole all drilled out. Um, just have to put this in, and then nail it down. wearing gloves because spark, sparks got so hot it just melted my glove right there so that would have been my finger oh, that's nice the posts that go up so they actually provided this trex block that's going to sit in there actually going to keep the wood up off the we would be sitting on the metal but i think it's just enough to keep it uh, i think it's a uh, three quarters of an inch or so plus a 316 inch bracket so yeah, almost an inch off so to keep the rain off the bottom of it, make it last a little bit longer. So those are put in. That's it. So gone in and done a, just a temporary first hold on the, the post going up. Um, it's not screwed in at the bottom or anything. Um, and have a little bit of a, not a problem, just added complexity is that it might be used, end up using this, this beam without being wrapped, sorry, the post without being wrapped. And so I want to keep it as intact as possible and not just screw nails and screws into it, nails into it. So I had to create uh, just a little collar kind of here and then screw into that just so that's being held. So I got the first one up, first side up and then measured it and it's level going this way. So you see, get the, uh... I want to get the one side done, then I'll do the other side and then I'll be able to tie both of them together as well just to give it some additional dimensional support so i'm going to find a stake to put in the ground over here and then you know, run down this side so i'm going to do the other side So normally I'd use a, a little bit longer here, but uh, when I put a lift the beam up, I need it to do the material lift here, so I need to move here. So I'm gonna try to get away with a small one like this. Put the stick down. Again, right, original to make sure that's straight.
no vertical so that I can actually go and measure it now. Or once I the level, and once I tack the two of them together, or nail both of them together here, I'll get a lot more dimension support. So I took a two by four that I had and ran it um, from the where the beam is going to be here, cross, and then made it level at the bottom. And then just went around and cut it with the, uh, and going around with the battery upward circular saw. It's actually a track saw, but it made it a good, nice, because it's got a, just a quarter, or sorry, what, eighth inch blade, so it made a nice uh, finished looking cut. Um, so it might be keeping this exposed, and you can, you can see it underneath the bracket. Uh, so I decided to do that all around all four sides. So this would be the support being this way, and then there'll be another one pointing the other way, and then across the I'm just gonna just shave a little bit of the corner off both sides of here. I'm sure with the weight of the roof, I'm gonna push it down, but so I got this pretty level both directions, I think, uh, but I'm just going to double check and measure just to see how, how well it is. Uh, kind of long spans, so I've found um, putting some finishing nails in there helps the support. Two and a sixteenth. So I'm not going to complain about that. Uh, so it's level. I'm to compare this to wall. Make sure this one's at two levels. So yep, yeah, so it's level. They're both level. They seem to be parallel. Um, so now I'm going to put a beam across there, just like I did with the other one. So now I can take that out, get a good circular saw, cut around, same idea. The base uh, where it is. So since this is pretty level right now, I'm going to just go ahead and uh, screw this in so that I can have just a little bit extra support. So I've got these lag bolts that go in. Um, I've got a 3 8 inch, which seemed, seemed like it was just enough I did on the other one. socket here. So I should probably have the uh, tripod for this, but I'm just kind of doing because I didn't show it on the other one. It's some pretty basic stuff though. Just get both in here and then I'll, I'll screw in the other side as well before I tighten them all the way down. So there we go, got all four lag bolts in there. I didn't, I tightened them down just, you know, just enough. Um, so now I found the other one where I was trying to cut uh, around there. It helped to have a, a support, strong 
base. Uh, so there's the, see the line up there. Getting dark, so I'm trying to finish this. The weld uh, is nice and flat. I know because set a beer on, it doesn't fall. Alright, so it's getting late, so that's it for the day. You gotta put in these SPS screws here. All these in here. Um, I'm gonna pre drill just so it doesn't crack the wood. It's probably okay, but just in case. 